what got you to choose this super specialty of uh, being in the cardiovascular, you know, touching the heart and treating the hearts and treating people? Yeah, it's a long story itself, but to cut it short, uh, I would put it as, uh, as after finishing my uh, general surgery, I was uh, uh, very much keen to help the rural uh, population wherein I served as a chief medical officer at a rural place. Uh, in fact, it was more like a village. To get the nearest uh, small, even the grocery was around 6 kilometers away and the village uh, surrounding only fields. We happened to do around more than uh, 200 plus surgeries, uh, 250 plus surgeries uh, uh, set up uh, in, uh, in that kind of, it was a Christian Missionary Hospital. Subsequently, we realized that uh, a lot of challenges uh, are there at World Setup, wherein uh, even to get one unit of blood was a challenge. We used to uh, wait for a bottle of blood from almost 60 kilometers away. And that was a challenge and uh, I decided to make my studies uh, further and uh, look into further progress, how best I can help. Because what knowledge uh, I had studied, I could not apply it completely because of the lack of facilities at that place. Even though none of the surgeries were done, almost the hospital was almost 10 years plus. Uh, no surgeries were done. And uh, applying my knowledge, as you told multiple times, uh, I made a team of about 15 plus doctors who were visiting on a weekly basis. And we happened to do a good number of surgeries. Uh, but in the long run, uh, I did think of uh, doing a super speciality. Well, uh, definitely I was interested in urology. It was my mother who insisted me to take up cardiac surgery. And yes, she has been an inspiration throughout my life even today. And uh, right from my childhood to join medicine and to take general surgery and also to cardiac surgery. Well, I joined cardiac oh. surgery mainly because Oh, so you mean to say well, you took up medicine and it was your mother as an inspiration Yes. That, you know, she actually inspired you to take and you wanted to do a different specialty altogether. And, uh, you know, any any reason that it was uh, the heart as a specialty and mother and heart. I'm very interested to understand that connection and uh, what got you to uh, pick heart then. Well, my mother, sir, personally to speak, uh, she, she tells me what happens tomorrow. That's what she has, that vision. I mean, with God's grace. With her divine power, she is very uh, comes from a very uh, holy background and a uh, lot of uh, spirituality in her, and uh, she can foresee what happens. In fact, uh, with her, uh, this one day I joined cardiac surgery. In fact, those days uh, we did not have mobile phones, and uh, it was way back in uh, 1999. Uh, I wrote my exams. I joined cardiac surgery and. It, it was tough. The field was tough. In fact, uh, if you ask me, as a general surgeon, I always uh, refused to read an ECG or I go. Somehow I thought, uh, oh, this is not a surgeon's cup of tea. So I, I, I always refused. And finally, I ended up uh, coming into the this field wherein uh, you have to know ECG, you have to know echocardiography. And uh, initially, the days as an observer, I joined in Jadev Institute. Earlier, the hospital was at Victoria Hospital in uh, the uh, uh, care market area. Subsequently, it was in the process of transition to the new institute at uh, Jayanagar uh, fourth block. And uh, entire the building uh, set up and all, we used to just uh, go around with uh, one of my teachers and uh, plan. And once surgery started, uh, multiple tubings, heart getting stopped, there were multiple tubings, pipelines. It was quite uh, tough to understand. And the end of the day, uh, I don't know, cardiac surgery, I used to see many deaths. And somehow down the line, I felt uh, we are operating and patients are uh, dying. What are, like in a sense, not all is to die, but of course the death rate is more compared to any other uh, operating speciality. So uh, I don't know. So the, I, I, in fact, uh, I went to the STD booth and I told, I don't want this field. I, I, I am going to quit. But she insisted that, uh, no, no, that only is be good for you. You have to continue that. And uh, somehow my thought process are like, uh, uh, sometimes even if you don't like it, just hang around. Sometimes the secret of success is just hang around. Whether you like, like it or no is immaterial. Just hang around. And I have been using this uh, theme of just hanging around whichever place. When mother tells it is good, there may be something good. And today, after almost 20 years plus, 25 years plus, I never regret. In fact, I salute her for uh, thank her every time, every moment uh, for me being a cardiac surgeon. 
it wow. makes a difference. That's a very, very inspiring uh, story in terms of how your mother, her vision, and uh, also uh, for pushing her, you know, uh, that vision that she had and where you uh, got into it and that hanging around, whether you liked it or not, but you continue to acquire a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm.